Okay. <clears throat> Five, four, three, two, one, go. All right, so um, welcome everyone. This is going to be um, Half-Life 2. My name is Molly Miller, and um, I'm going to do, yeah, as I said before, <laughs> Half-Life 2 for you all. So um, yeah, let's get this started. So um, because it's a marathon one, we're gonna start from a new game. The time does not start yet. It will start a little bit later, and I will tell when that's gonna happen. So this is. Um, any percent no void clip and Why it's new engine shy? so um Mr. Freeman, there's some there's I old engine and there's new engine shy. old engine had a um Not a movement where you could hold w down and um and spam your jump key and you would jump. gain a lot of velocity no from that more deserving of a rest. and um and all the they tried to fix that in new engine but it didn't wreck it but i didn't make it so um when you go backwards or something they didn't well, it doesn't detect that so um say your hour if you already go backwards here. while the game thinks you're going forward it will give you even more backward speed so it will just give you a lot of lot of velocity in the wrong place. and uh, make all when it comes to uh, no voiclet there's a, a, a strike with uh, voiclet so that we just banned i'll explain what voiclet is when we get into um the first cutscene i don't have time for that now so we're gonna do a uh, train clip as the first thing here as i will show now So train clipping is basically you safe load a, a little bit and um, and the track behind like like the track behind me is going into our track and I messed up there and when it does that you can actually get stuck in it and you can get out of the train pretty cool and uh, that skips like 30 seconds of a cutscene and um, and then I'm gonna take this um, telephone as it's called. Or cell phone, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> so, um, what we're gonna do with this is something called NPC abuse, which is uh, you bump this prop on uh, on an NPC's head, and uh, when it and when you do that, they're gonna teleport from point A to point B instantly. Uh, this one here, if I get it, yeah, like that. And uh, that's how it works. It saves a few seconds. Not all of them save time, but most of them does. And now we're getting into our first uh, cutscene, and we're just gonna NPC teleport a little bit more to get them what they need to be. So um, about no boy clip. Um, <clears throat> so there's a, so we have a uh, a, a glitch called uh, boy clipping, and that is basically about you go out of bounds, and uh, as you can see with my UPS, I like go around with yeah speed. So when you're on four uh, speed while out of bounds you can like load your quick save and then spam save load again and uh, you will keep going to where you need to be it saves time in game time when you uh, do something like that going through out of bounds but in real time it's painfully slow you spend like five minutes pressing the same key over and over again and uh, that and we decided to ban that in this after we found something called quick clipping which i will not explain now i will show that when uh, when we get it but it, it's a really good uh, glitch so um, be hyped for that tower didn't go um, that well but oh well I, I guess this is like a second option I guess you could say <clears throat> and uh, a new glitch a new trick we have is something called strafe modification so when I <clears throat> hold down my button that is yeah called strafe modification I will actually um basically move around in the game with my with my mouse instead of instead of pressing yeah you know the keys WASD and what I did there was something called safe deleting which is basically you do a safe load and then um, you press a key that that has like a safe file name on it that's like over the over the 255 characters which is the limit of this game and that makes it confused so um, so it just loads the the map like it's like if you load it on um, yeah in the console which is yeah map uh, train station number one, and that can be pretty cool for some cases where we uh, maybe need weapons and stuff like that. But with strafe modification, when we pull down our mouse a little bit after pressing it and then jump, the game thinks we're going 
yeah forwards while we're actually looking forwards and then we're just gonna gain even more speed while we are running forwards you won't see it that much now but you'll see it later but uh, what we're coming up to now is probably the most difficult and annoying trick in the whole run which is red letter day skip so uh, this is found by someone named bill's big thrill shouts to um no it's called big bill's big thrill i'm sorry about that but it's found by a person named <clears throat> Build the thrill on Twitch, so a uh, huge shout to him. And I got it, but I somehow forgot to to quick save. All right, there we go. So because it's floating with the tire there, I can jump into it and start floating, and then I clip it through this wall and yeah, stuff like that. Really weird. <laughs> and we have literally no idea how how this works. It just works, you know. Some 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 glitches you just can't explain. You know you know that. So um, here comes the hardest part. Dr. Freeman, we cannot save load anymore after doing that. If we save load, the game will crash. So we have to do this entire thing coming up now in single segment. So our hitboxes is gonna float in air now. Uh, the last time we stand it up. So when I crouch now, it's gonna put put the hitbox in where the last time we stand up. And when we put a prop into that, we're gonna stop floating again. And now I have to set set one out here, which is. All of this has to be done single segment by the way, and if we lose this, it's like over a minute lost. But it seems like I got it. So um, now I'm in cross position. If I stand up, my hitbox, which is somewhere out there, is gonna yeah come back here again. So I have to cross this whole way because here's the thing: if you touch any props now, you're gonna teleport back to where your hitbox is with the the speed you last time had, which is 2,000 in this case. Well, no, 3,500, I'm sorry about that. And uh, what we can use for this is we can get all the speed while hitting a change load trigger. So we load to the next map while hitting the box that teleports us back to our hitbox. So we have to do a really precise lineup here with uh, our position. And... Uh, okay, I got a bit too much to the uh, right, but... You know, we got it first try, and that's like the most important thing. It's so hard to get this first try. So I'm really happy we got it first try. And uh, now I'm supposed to get up here with the pallet. Oh, come on. There we go. And then we're going to use Toggle Dog, which is basically um, you hold crouch, and then you automatically stand up right after you, you do the jump with, in crouch position. Really nice. And then um, we're going to get here oh there we go and then hit this blank and and hope for, for the best there we go we actually got a second try that's really good it usually takes multiple tries to actually break this blank and then we're gonna save delete here to get oh there we go to get our atv suit and crowbar because atv suit is makes you be able to sprint and run faster that's a quick thing to, to know Then we're gonna do a do a trick here from someone named Leon. Shout out to Leon. So we're gonna do that and avoid uh, looking at that uh, combine right there because otherwise there's two trains gonna appear and we do not want that. And then we're gonna jump on this train. I messed it up. Okay, I, I sort of messed up. You can get like uh, you can like fly in the air literally here and then. And then get stuck here and not take any damage. Oh well, we still got it, so that's good. And um, now we're getting into to see some more of straight modification. And this is what you can do with it. You can just keep looking forward and jump while pulling your mouse down. Because straight modification. And I just got straight through there. That is crazy. That usually doesn't happen. So now we're getting a. Uh, I, I, I don't know what you say, a tiny little short break here. And just push these barrels to the corner. So um, they all get explored at the same time. Well, almost. And then we're gonna see if we can get this. <coughs> okay. Wow, this is going insane right now. That was. That, 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 like that trick I just did there, that is so hard to do. I cannot describe that. So I'm really happy I got that in the marathon run. And uh, I just got some boost there from um, the explosive barrel. 
got stuck here, that was very fortunate, but you know, you cannot have all of it. And then you hit the slope here to um, get some height, and uh, with all the speed you get even more height, and uh, you can get here. And then here we're just gonna explode this barrel and uh, use this to explode those blanks, and then proc climb up here. There we go. And then um, last low is gonna talk for a little bit. Is his name Nasdaq? I actually forgot now. <laughs> wow, I can't remember anything. Cool. Oh well, whatever. But yeah, we're just waiting for this person to... Um... There we go. Oh yeah, I forgot to explain proc climbing early with the, the pallet. Um, before I got the ATU too. So basically with proc... What is happening here? Okay, good. So with proc climbing, if you spam use key and you jump at the same time and keep doing that. Uh, you will actually uh, climb up with the prop. And here I uh, hold my sprint key down right before I uh, I, uh, I start swimming down. And that makes us go swim a little bit faster through the water section until our stamina is over. Now let's see if I can get what's coming up now, which is called manhack jump. That it's basically about jumping on a um, yeah on manhacks and uh, getting into the tunnel. It's usually really random, but that that one was actually really close. I wanna try and get this. I wanna give this a few moments. It's I can't describe how hard this is. This is super hard. I don't think I'll get this. Yeah, I'm, yeah, it doesn't look like it. It's also RNG compared to where um, these guys are standing. So now I have to prop climb again to get up here. Oh yeah, if anyone wants to know, 3000 UPS as this is capped to, that is about 240 kilometers an hour, which is about 160 miles an hour. Didn't get the whole thing, that's fine. I was trying to talk a dog again. Get through the whole thing a lot easier. And then prop climb up here and then try and get stock launch. Didn't really work. Stock launch is basically you spam your jump key while ABHing and then get on a prop. Yeah, when we jump backwards and uh, get speed, that's what we call accelerate back home, which is also known as ABH. And when we look forwards, like I just did there, and get speed, that is actually a plus straight, which is, yeah, basically using our straight modification as I explained earlier. So this is also boatless, I forgot to tell that. This is boatless now, and uh, we don't really use the airboat, because the airboat is a bit slow. If I gotta be honest. Just, just a little bit slow, you know, just a little bit. And we can just go through all these sections here, like... Who, who has time to go around, honestly? And then we're gonna save the lead again. To get back our airboat, sounds weird, but but just hear me out. We're gonna have it in a in a specific position, well, very tight position, I guess you can say. And then we're gonna grab it from behind here. There's a chance that we're right behind us, and then we're gonna oh, mess that up. Let's try again. Second of, no, I need to. There we go. Not having the best position right now. Let me try again. That should work. Yeah, there we go. Now I have no clip. <laughs> and that's without SV cheats, by the way. So basically, um, we deleted the airboat because it's out of the landmark, as it's called. And every time you're in a vehicle in this game, the game automatically gives you um, no clip. But because the game still thinks we're in the airboat, our no clip is still enabled. But because we deleted it, we can keep our our no clip, and then we took, and then we put it into a um, barnacle because we cannot go through chainsaw triggers with uh, no clip, which is honestly good because if we could do that, then this would be even shorter and and kind of boring because we would just be no clipping through the whole section, you know. So because we went into the barnacle, we we got something called quick clipping now, 
Uh, I'm not gonna tell you what qu quick living does, but you'll see it uh, later, like in a in a in a, in, a, in two maps from now. And I hit the the lights up there. Also, what I'm doing here, as you see all of this, I mean, go ahead and try it yourself. I, I wish you the best of luck with it. I mean, this is so fun to run, but I'm just saying, don't don't be ashamed if you can't get this first try. This is super hard to do. I have been speedrunning this game for too many years. So we go through this whole um, section here with all our speed. And by the way, water is our best friend. Every time you hit the water, you don't take fall damage. So no matter how high you are, just hit the water. And then you won't take any fall damage. However, it's not very good when it comes to speed. It makes you lose a lot of speed really quickly, like it, as you can see here. And then we're just gonna hit the slope there. And then hit this water here, which is really hard to do. I think I'm gonna die here. Yeah, expect it. Try again. That, that looks a bit better, hitting the slope there, so I don't take fall damage. And that is some serious, <clears throat> serious height. I've never got that before. Wow. Oh well, whatever. I try to ABH here because I don't not, don't like my speed. Whatever. Okay. I'll. I guess I have to live with this. So now we are getting. So now uh, I can show you what quick clip is. You will see it now. There you go. That's quick clipping. So basically, because we did the no clip into a barnacle. We can now use props to clip through walls. Oh wow, that actually worked, I'm surprised. It's not always it works, um, sometimes you get stuck when doing it. But if you uh, ABH into it, it's a lot better than just grab it and jump with it. And now we're doing chili, chili launch, which is a really nice uh, trick found by Jillian Such. Shout out to him. We go, got a second try. This, this, it's, this is also really hard to get till I launch. And I hit the, the land there in the water. Usually you cannot jump in the water, but because there's, but, but because my feet are literally hitting the land under the water, then uh, I can actually jump with it. So this is not very good speed, but we'll we'll just go with it. There you go. Now now I'm back to normal again. So now it's just going through this zombie tunnel here. And uh, get up here. And now we're almost done with boatless. Oh no, I slowed myself down by too much. I wanna see if I can, yeah, I can. There we go, that, that's slow bug what you just saw there. So slow parking is when you have a lot of speed and you hit a slow while yeah, in, while you're in the air and what it, what it does is that it prevents you from um, taking fall damage. And now we're gonna gain a lot of speed from that slope there. I actually wanna see if I can get a better angle here, yeah, this one seems a bit better. Because now we're gonna skip the whole going around thing and just get here straight. There we go. And now we are in Black Mesa East. That was a 1541, which is, I would say, it's, that's not bad for a marathon run. That's actually pretty good. I need something to drink. One second. <clears throat> so um, now we're in Black Mesa East, and uh, yeah, that was um, yeah. Water hazard is one of the most wild like. Moments in in Harvard 2 speed running. It's ridiculously hard to do all of it first try But it looks so cool when you get it all first try But uh, yeah, now we're in Black Mesa East and we are gonna do a little um, Skip with the cutscene. It's not like it's kind of hard to see it. So I'll have to explain it, but um, It basically skips some time with Alex So um, so we can proceed through the game a bit faster like two minutes faster. But first, we're gonna NPC teleport Mossman to where she needs to be. Come on, Mossman. Oh, she didn't wanna cooperate. 
<clears throat> That's how it is sometimes. Sometimes the NPC stars and want to do what you want to want them to do. So um, yeah. And now we're gonna have Mossman into this elevator, and um, we're not gonna go with her down the elevator. That's like nah, not a, not a good idea. So when she cl closes the door, I'm gonna go through. Uh, let me. Okay, that worked very well. There we go. And then I'm gonna get myself stuck inside this barrel, and then st spam safe load and uh, and safe load down. There we go. And uh, I'm gonna get on this bed here, and then all the way down. So when you are on process, well, you're actually gonna start falling down. That's the thing with Quick Clip. So a thing Quick Clip has is like, this is really weird to, it's weird to talk about, but it has basically two different engines. Let me, I need to constrain this because Marshman cannot hit a specific trigger here. If she hits it, the whole cutscene is gonna get a lot slower. It's like right here. If she hits it, then Alex is not gonna appear at all. Now Alex should appear. What? Well, okay, we're gonna try again. Now let's see. The last time I saw you, I sent you up for. I did go to her room, didn't I? I'm pretty sure I did. There's just no way why Alice wouldn't spawn right now. There we go. Wow. Okay, that was interesting. So, um, because I went into a room, I start a completely different cutscene, and uh, Alex will appear in that if Marshman isn't here. But you will have to block her because otherwise she will get in here, and then Alex won't appear until like two minutes later. So about quick clipping, um, about that, there's like two versions, well, engines for uh, Gordon with um, with this. We have, uh, I think, the first one's called Quake Engine, which is basically about the movement and interacting with walls for Gordon, stuff like that. While the other one called Havok is about um, how Gordon interacts with props. And the Havok engine doesn't really work anymore after we uh, get no clip and go ourselves into a barnacle. It basically takes takes our Havok and, and that basically means we can go through walls now with a prop or fall through the floor with props now. So, so uh, the Havok engine doesn't work very well anymore. But, um, but hey, that brings a lot of um, a lot of skips available when we can go through walls now. So that's really nice. I should be in here working on the portal. I have the repairs well in hand. Some have misjudged the capacity of the combine thyristor. So yeah, now we're just basically waiting for this to be over. I guess I can show this with straight modification. So when I when I hold it down now and move my mouse around, I start moving in game. So every time I look forward and jump, I basically drag my mouse down a little bit, so going backwards, making what's called AFH, which is looking forward and uh, tapping S, and then jump to gain speed. But in this case, not tapping S, but just pull my mouse down while having straight modification on. It was found. It's something we found recently or started to use in this game. It's it's done by uh, Season Maxim, so a huge shout to Season Maxim. And this right we're actually gonna do now, which I'm not very good at, but gonna try to do. It's also found by um, Seas. So uh, yeah, huge shout outs to Seas for finding so many uh, small optimizations for uh, stress in this game. So we're gonna block Alex here. And that went not very well, or whatever. And then we're just gonna get her up here. And then here we actually have to go through here really fast because there's a there's a clip rush there. Clip rush basically means invisible wall. And um, if you're not fast enough, you will actually hit the clip rush, and um, that means you can't get through here. So uh, what you just saw there is that we're actually gonna skip the credit gun. We basically skip the credit gun and the whole dog cutscene. And here I spam crouch and space bar to get up here. Crouch and jump key that is. 
So now we're on Ravenholm. Which is not still a lot about movement, but like also a lot about going through uh, going through with props. Oh. And, uh, and a lot of nade boost as well. And hit the slope here and get up here on the roof. So yeah, that's th that's a lot about Raymond Home basically. I, I, if, um, if I had to uh, say something about it, so we're gonna go through here with the with the barrel. Oh, I forgot the the health kit. There we go. And then we're gonna clip down here with this paint and hit the chainsaw trigger behind us. And now we're gonna do a really hard nade boost. Oh, I thought I got a first try. And we're allowed to use pause in this game, by the way. That's gonna work. That can definitely work. And then... Oh, that was so close. But we got it. Nice. And then we're gonna do another nade boost. Because we have barely enough health. This is a really scuffed one. Not very good. Come on. We'll get it one day. There we go. And then hit the slope here so we don't take fall damage. And then circle strafe. So that's circle strafe is basically our way to like pre strafe in this game. If you know it from bunny hopping already, where you pre strafe to build up speed already before you do your first jump. And because of strafe modifications, we have ways now to do it uh, forwards as well. But it's really difficult and. I will give a shout out to Maxon for that as well because he was the one who found that out. And and C's as well actually, and C's as well. But in a with a different method. So uh, because we have all this straight modification now and normal ABAs and ASH we always do, that means the movement in this game has kinda changed. We are switching between those uh, movement mechanics now, or tricks, whatever you wanna call it. And um yeah, that was basically all of Ravenholm. Now there's only this map left and this can be really annoying if, if you don't have uh, the correct speed. And there I try to build up speed by going under the train and spam my, my jump key, which is mouse wheel by the way. We use mouse wheel for this game because it gives you, it gives better um, speed every time you jump so you don't lose as much. And now I'm trying to do forward Crouch, um, circle strafe, which is super hard. Hello, Dr. But I did it. So yeah. And now we're getting into Coast, which is another movement-based uh, chapter. Or part of the level, I guess you can say. Okay, I did not... That was that was a slope that just randomly gave me a lot of fight that I didn't want. And then we're gonna hit some slopes here, so we don't die. There we go. And for some reason I got slow park again where it just Yeah, some yeah, it's just something weird happens and uh, I lost all my speed. That's that's unfortunate with slow. Sometimes they do that and sometimes you can die from them as well, like I just did there. But usually they um there are ways to like make you not lose too much speed and you get and you uh, yeah, you don't die from them either. Usually I would slide on the road here, but I didn't have very good height, so I just did that instead. Well, my my game just froze. Okay. Okay, it doesn't like me safe clicking here. Oh yeah, we save we save a lot in this game. We are allowed to use um, quick saves and load our quick saves. So we so we save a lot in this game in case if we mess up something. And this is not the best either. We are gonna hit the slope and hopefully not die. And we thankfully didn't. And uh, yeah, that was the that was. Um, that was Highway 17. It's really, it's really fast level, and I don't know why I'm freezing so much right now. What is going on? Well, hopefully it's going away soon. Bet it's a Windows 10 update. <laughs> yeah, this is not very good. And still hitting all these slopes, as you can see. Right there was also slope we just hit, so we didn't take any fall damage. There's a lot of those in, in this level. 
And then we're sliding down here on the slope because the chains are to your right here. You, you cannot go around here actually because there's some uh, push triggers that just kills you and make you uh, fall down the water on the other side. And, ha and here we try to get up here. Nice. That, that, that went actually really well. This is Coast 11. And usually this is where a lot of runs actually die and people get... And people are just in general mad about this level because it is super hard. What is specifically hard about this is getting up on uh, yeah, the start there on the mountain and... Keeping your speed on the cliff process and then hit a slope at the end. That is what is really hard about this. And we actually went around, like got too far compared to the change of the trigger. So we had to go back to hit it. And now I'll try to get a good setup here. There we go. This wasn't very good actually. So I think I will do this. How did I take damage there? What? I usually don't. Well, I'm on 1 HP now. That's scary. Usually you can get really good speed here. And, and if you get the perfect high, you can actually go straight into this tunnel with all your speed. But it's ridiculously hard and it barely ever happens in, in runs. It's like super rare. And then we're gonna hit the slope here to get up here. I fell down somehow and then get on this where's the box? On the box there and then get through. And every time you're on a box you yeah, as I said before, it will make you fall down slowly. So when you jump, you will actually not jump at all. You will actually not get any height from the jump. So you need to crouch first a little bit before you can actually do the jump. I tried to craft the <laughs> I tried to craft the chair and it just made me fly instead. Oh yeah, now we are actually in uh, in Nova Prospect already. Feels weird always saying I'm in Nova Prospect, but we are actually. And I think because of my really low health, I'm gonna yeah, take some health here. So we can just go through that uh, green box there, or whatever you wanna call it, green closet. I don't know. And just just as a teenage boost here and get some health. And here we're actually gonna use the lasers to gain some speed. So we get all the way here and clip through this bar here with the box. And here you can actually clip through the fence for some reason. And oh man, that was so close. I tried to keep all my speed and clip through the sentry, but it's so hard to do that. But it's really, it's really nice when you get it. The feeling is amazing. I just want to say that. But yeah. And there, on the, with the, what was it, a table, I tried to do stock launch again, which is... You spam, you, yeah, you spam your jump key on it while trying to um, do, do the movement to uh, get a lot of speed, and it can give you a lot of speed when doing that. So now we have this box that we need, and um, because this is usually a really long cutscene, those next three maps we're coming up. But we're just gonna kind of skip talking with Alex. So we are in this section here where you're supposed to ride with an elevator with with Alex. But we're just gonna use our boxes. And wow, I was really close to get that. Come on. Okay, I'm gonna redo that. Okay. There we go. And then we're gonna take this paint bucket here. And play through. And then get here and sit down with the barrel. Nice. That went really smooth, actually. It was mostly the chair that just went a little bit messed up, but apart from that, it was actually really good. And then here we're just gonna get some some orbs for, for the AR1 and um, an SMG nade, because we're gonna need that later. And then shout out to Mark for this strat here, just holding W and um, and then you clip down here. Oh, I accidentally hit the pipe. Did not mean to do that. And then clip through this closet here. And that's gonna scare the trigger so the zombies don't wake up, actually. 
Oh nice, I actually got both, both armor. So we really nice uh, nade throw. I was not supposed to do that. There you go. Just like just jump into the box and get some health from this guy. Sometimes you don't, depending on your health. But but you can be lucky to get some, and it's really nice when you get it because it saves you time for not having to take some health from the health charger. So here we're gonna get stuck in the prop, and then we're gonna SMG nade boost and hand grenade boost, and then we're gonna set our FPS to 30 and save load a few times because. When you're on 30 FPS and you're out of bounds and safe load, you will actually gain a little bit more height compared to when you do this on 300 FPS. And this looks like a really bad setup. Okay, I got it. Good. By changing it to 300. Did I get it? Okay, good. And then we're gonna get into this corner and get this entry right there. Yeah, it's just one. Doing the hard stage actually really likes my game. Oh well, I gotta deal with that. That's fine. I can deal with that. And then um, because we we sk yeah, skipped the cutscene over here, Alex is not gonna be here at all. And I'm gonna do save those to get some um, some help from these guys. And I actually got it twice, which is really lucky. Usually it doesn't have only usually I only get it once. So now that thing is there. Um, the plan is now that Mossman is not gonna go to um, to that uh, keyboard because if she does that now while this this whole thing is going up because of we enter those two sentries, then it will actually soft lock the game. It's the same if uh, this guy here kills Eli, um, yeah, then uh, the game is gonna soft lock as well. And soft lock is basically you cannot proceed through the game while um, while the game is still running. So this is where uh, Mossman usually um, runs to a, to a keyboard if I didn't set it up properly. I hope it, it doesn't look very good, but we'll see. Okay, it's set probably because he's, he's standing there, so that's good. So another thing with uh, Quick Flip is not only can you clip through walls, but you don't take damage from bullets either, which is really great. Um, so you can only take damage from the goo, fall damage, and grenade boosts, or, well, grenades and explosives in general. I, just, I really need to stop safe loading here, but I really have to because once this hit two red li lights up there or red blinks, whatever you want to call it, I have to remove this thing, otherwise I will soft lock the game again. So yeah. Uh, I think we're almost there. Yeah, now it's turning right as you can see here. So uh, what's going to happen now is going to turn red soon. That was the first one. So when it hits the second one, I'm going to have to um, remove it. There we go. And now this guy is gonna get aggressive and run towards me, and I don't want to. I don't want him to do that because uh, then he might actually end up killing Eli. It doesn't matter if he uh, tries to kill Marsman because um, Marsman apparently has God Mode on. She doesn't die when you shoot her, but Eli does for some reason. Ki kind of weird, but I don't know. It's 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 Valve making this game. I mean, it's still incredible. With, with this heavy movement, I would say. So now we're just waiting for um, this thing to go up there. Usually what you have to do normally is for them to like, yeah, get in and um, teleport. And then this thing needs to like go down slowly after you have pressed those two. But we did it basically the opposite way now. We made it slowly go up and now it's gonna fast coming down. And you can see he like actually went down the floor. And as he's doing that, I'm gonna take some health and armor. Pretty funny that Eli just goes down the floor. Pretty funny. So, uh, this is also a prop, and we will get stuck in it when we fly off. So, we have to nade, nade boost up to get this. Oh. There we go. Nice. So now it's going up there, and as I said before, you get stuck when you are in it. Okay, let's show it here. Yeah, now I can't move at all. Until it's ahead of me. There we go. And uh, now we're in the in the box that basically uh, teleports us to the next level. So, huge shout out to Karanos for this strat coming up now. So, um, this is also something we can clip through with. So we're just going to use the energy ball to make it go stay in there. 
and then just kill through. And then use that boss to kill through you. That, this may not have looked like it did much, but it actually skipped a huge cutscene that's like over two minutes long. And then we're gonna take the nade there and um, and then take the pregnant at the same time, which is within like half a second with each other. It's uh, it's really hard to do that. But uh, yeah, now we're in city 17. We're actually almost done with the game. I feel like it's been. I feel like I've only been running for like well, been doing this for five minutes. This has been really fun so far. And then I'm gonna hit the stove there. Oh wow, that was an incredible one. Oh, did I forget? No, I didn't forget. Good. So now we're getting up here, and we're gonna use um, the hand grenade. Ooh, that was so cool. Come on. Come on. There we go. Alright, so because there's a marathon run, I'm gonna go save and take some more health. Because if we cannot go through this with an A boost, it's gonna take minutes before we get get through it. Whoa, okay. Yeah, that's the thing with slows right there. If you spam jump there, you can just gain a lot of speed from it. And here there's more health that I'm just gonna take just to be safe. Not very ne not, not necessary, but just, you know, for safety. Safety reasons. It's only like what? A couple of seconds you lose from it. So now we're gonna do a uh, hand grenade and SMG nade launch here. Wow, just like. There we go, hitting this roof and then hit this so we don't take fall damage. And then cliff through with um, the table. And get some armor here. Usually you get health because usually you don't have that much health, but I have because I went safety. Because I went safe, I mean. So now we're gonna hit this. Oh, that was good. I went straight down. There's a lot of freezes right now. That's really annoying. Hopefully it stops. I don't really do anything about it. And he here is usually a combat scene, but we're just gonna skip it. Bye. Jumping through this box, and what you just saw there was they actually um, shot the box while I was clipping through, and that's really annoying because when that happens, you will actually not clip through, you will actually get stuck in the box when that happens, and that's really annoying. Okay, let's try this again. And he shot the box again. Are you kidding me? Come on, there we go. Now we got it. And now. But yeah, that saves. That still that saves like what two minutes or something. It's a really long thing you are skipping there. Yeah. And then um, I was just gonna jump through those boxes and then use and use the pin and then um, use the yellow bracket to get up here. And um, and then we're gonna skip uh, this section here with Alex. Where you have to kill some combines as well. We just clip down there literally and then we already get outside. Wow, this lagging is just so insane. Wow. I hate it. Alright, there we go. And then we just skip another cut uh, fight there by just as a teenage up there. And then we're just gonna clip through here. Because we don't have the query gun, then we can't just like. Then we can't just like pull pull it out and open the door. We have to literally clip through it. But 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 you know it's fine. We have we have quick clip, you know, so we can just go straight through everything. This this lag is getting worse and worse. This is actually not very good. Why does it do this? This is actually annoying. Wow. And shout out to Seeds for this strat here. That, that was actually impressive. I got it first try. Usually that takes a whole bunch to get it. I think that's an auto save it just made there and it actually still made my game lag like crazy. This is not the time for it, come on. Alright, this is Fall of Freeman. Wow, 
Wow. Right, let's try again. So this is for all three men and we hit this. Just the slope there and uh, we just gain a lot of height from it. I, I can't explain how much right now. What, how much it frustrates me this whole thing. You can even see when I go through loading triggers now, it's actually going a lot slower. I'm considering restarting my game because uh, this is actually um, wow, just just impressive. Why is this happening now? This didn't happen earlier. This is actually frustrating. And we got this trick here, which is basically as in teenage launched and. Uh, Got into the box and then hit something outside, like a slope, basically, and uh, it gained us some height. And then we could skip through the entire section. Wow. Okay, I accidentally put it to the turret. There we go. And then we're just gonna clip through here as well. Usually you also have like, what is it, some energy balls you need to throw here, which also takes forever. But we're just skipping through it all, because why not? Oh, wow. Alright, there we go. And then, um... Then we get here and just use the SMG nade. The rocket launch, I mean, and then we're gonna use the SMG nade to get out get up above here I'm not gonna press the button to activate the, the bridge it takes uh, it takes a while actually come on so what I'm trying to do here is hit the, the slope over here and then hit this tire here, and oh, that was really close. I actually managed to get over. Oh, I, f I feel like my game is a lot smoother now. Okay, I think it's off. Must be an update or something. I don't know. And then we'll hit this container here to get some slope. We almost got up there. If we don't, we can just SNG nade push up there. Oh. And then shout the Fuso for this strat here. Just. Use our speed from the rocket launcher and then just hit a slope with it and get over. So it's it's incredible that you can do that. I and and every time I grab a frog, I cannot go more than maximum 1,000 speed with it. Otherwise, the the prop cannot follow me. Actually. Oh no. Okay, so I was really slow there for some reason. So um. Dog was actually faster than me somehow. There we go, that should work now. And now we can actually get down here. And then we're gonna save the lead now. What's gonna happen now when we save the lead is that our quick clip is gone, so we cannot clip through walls anymore. But we don't need it anymore, actually, so that's fine. And then uh, shout out to. I forgot who made that strat actually, who came up with it. But yeah, shout out to that guy. <laughs> if I could just remember their name. But yeah. But it's a really nice strategy. It skips going around, so we can just hit that yellow pipe there. And then we're gonna use the rocket launcher here to get uh, to get around here. And not use the pod. And now we're gonna do what's called Citadel 2 skip, which is the pod right cutscene, the first one. We're just gonna skip it with our movement. It's gonna be really hard, but we're gonna try our best. First, I need to safe load. For one, getting the rid of the white fade, and the other one is about making the part in front of us go to the right. For some reason, it does that when you save it a little bit here. It's not always does both things. Yeah, for me, it, I didn't get this. So I'm gonna so for so just for in case, I'm actually gonna break this until I get armor. There's a 33% chance of getting the armor, by the way. No, I got it. <laughs> Come on. Super unlucky right now. There we go. And then we're gonna use the rocket launcher to boost up here. That was really good. That's usually really hard to get. 
and then we're gonna get here oh and get some more speed to uh, hit the slope there which can be pretty hard to do but we'll, we'll get it come on There we go. Hit the slope there. And then this is the hardest part. And I gotta exit a good one. Can I exit? No, I cannot make it without. Okay. That's fine. Just do it like that. And uh, we get up to the rails here and uh, get some more speed. And then we can get up here. The hardest part is the one I did before where I do the launch and the SMTNA boost. It's ridiculously hard. Oh, I got stuck. <laughs> I accidentally went too much forward and when that happens you can get stuck in the ground and that is not very good when that happens. But yeah, that skipped us the part wide. Even though there was some mistakes there, there it still saves like over two minutes compared to um, taking the part. So we do that little setup there. Oh, I didn't get the, the rocket launcher. Let me do it again. There we go, now I've got the rocket launcher. And then just grab as many weapons as you can possible. So save some time. Don't not do not craft the the query gun. If you craft the query gun, you're actually gonna soft lock the game. So we're gonna take some health and armor here and then rocket launch up here. Man, we're already in Citadel. It's actually impressive we're already in Citadel, if you ask me. Okay, so um now we're gonna come up to uh, what is called Orb Launch. So Orb Launch is basically you take um, the monitor, as, it, as, it, as I do it here, as you can see. And then I take uh, an orb, hit it right there, and I gain a lot of height. And I skip eventually the elevator. Well, not eventually, but I do skip the elevator. There's like a huge combat scene there where you have to wait for an elevator. And it takes like minutes for it to come. And, uh, okay, that is a really bad save. I don't think I can make this. Whoa, I actually make it. Oh my. Okay, so what's crazy about that one is that you have to be really fast getting into that um, with the rocket launcher because it, as soon as you start moving, it becomes like 10 times harder getting into that part. And uh, you have a chance that it just you just won't get it. Like like you like when you just hit it uh, and get in, you will actually soft lock the game. So uh, that was incredible. I got it, and I had so low health as well. So now we are in the really long part right? where where we're basically um, at the end of the game now. Where we're waiting with um, with Breen, and I'm gonna talk to Breen a, a bit as well. So. Um, yeah, so that's why I was impressed if I, I got that actually. I was thinking I would die when trying to get that or something and it seemed really slow as well but I just managed to barely get it. So um, yeah, uh, does anyone have any questions in chat um, because I don't have much more to say. I can say that um, that with Quick Clip, after we found yeah, Quick Clip where you can clip through uh, walls now with a prop um, which was found like almost three years ago now at this point. Uh, before that, the world record was one hour and ten minutes. Now it's uh, now it's now it's forty three minutes. So we saved twenty seven minutes because of quick clipping, and it not only did it did that, but it also um, increased the the amount of active players in the community. We went from like two or three players running the game to like we were I think we were at a peak at twenty at some point actually. It was pretty crazy as we found it out. It's definitely helped um, finding quick clip. It made everything um, a lot better and a lot more fun because now this is a lot more movement based now than um, glitch based. So uh, yeah, and back then, void clipping was actually allowed in runs. Then they're not anymore. There's a new, there's a different category for that. But uh, back then we had we had void clips allowed, and uh, with void clips. I'm sorry, the 
the real time and game time difference was a lot. It was like 20 to 30 minutes difference. We're talking like uh, 1 hour 10 minutes game time and like 1 hour and 40 minutes real time. With this now, with with quick clip now, the max is like 5 minutes. So if you had like a time of 47, it's like four, 51, 52 minutes real time. Which map is your favorite in the game and which is your least favorite? That's actually a good question. Um, That's a really good question. I haven't really thought about that one. There's a lot of good maps, but there's also a lot of bad ones. <laughs> Um, that's a really tough one to actually answer. Uh, I really like a lot of the coast maps, but which one would be my favorite? I really don't know. I think for now, I would say Canalso 1. Canalso 1 is the map where, um, at the very start, where I get the crowbar and HV suit. It's where I, um, shoot the barrel with the pistol and uh, I and I and I um, jump on the train and just fly in midair and my least favorite that's definitely Prisoner 8 or Coast 11 because Coast 11 is super hard to get consistent at and Prisoner 8 is just so boring you have to wait uh, for a long time after doing the clipping yet Eli refuses to speak the words that would save them all save them in the middle of the light. Yeah, it's uh, it's almost 12 a.m. here. But you know, it's fine. It could have been worse. I, I'm, I'm fine with this. Despite I woke up like <laughs> at 5 a.m. today actually. I don't know how, but yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Despite it might not look like it, this was actually a D-Rush run. <laughs> I haven't played this game since I was on my last marathon, which was in May for a different marathon. How dare you even so that's that. been like five months ago. Alex, my dear, you have your mother's eyes, but your so yeah, I haven't played this game for five months. You haven't seen a bit of it yet. Really? Well, um, I want to give a few shouts to Source Runs, which is the community where we run Hover 2 and other Valve games in the Hover series. So uh, if you want to get into this game, you can go to sourceruns.org or you can join Source Runs Discord. Uh, I don't know where. Exactly this on sourcing.org, but I guess you can find it yourself. <laughs> I want to give a huge shout out to Waste Zone for making a whole route for this with Quicklip once we found it in 2018. I want to give a shout out to Rama and, Rama and uh, Centaurum for finding Quicklip to this game. And I want to give a huge shout out to Seize and Maxim and Leon for finding a lot of small optimizations and talking about using the plus rave method for for yeah our movement now. I'm so sorry, Alex. So um yeah. And I also want to give a shout to um the previous commentators for um SCQ 2019. What was it? Way Zone, uh, Ali, Charlie. And I think it was M. Sushi as well. I might be wrong. And 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 Katie actually, and Katie actually as well. So I want to give a huge shout out to them as well. They did an amazing work at commentating at HTDQ 2019. And um, yeah, I'm gonna try to submit for HTDQ 2022 now. So now we're gonna do a lot of save loads now. Right after he says no, I'm gonna do 15 save loads here. And um, you're gonna see soon what's gonna happen, and I'm, we'll explain it after it happens. And now it blows up, and then we're gonna do another 15 save loads. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And we got it, nice. So what happens here is that when we save load here, the, the part gets deleted again. And as I explained earlier, when you delete a vehicle in this game, yes, part counts as a vehicle in this game. When you delete vehicles in this, when you enter a vehicle in this game, you get no clip. So uh, if we can delete it while the game still thinks we're in the in the vehicle, then we automatically get no clip. So we just get through this whole thing here. We don't need to like go through the whole thing. We can just no clip through, through it all. And then staying here will make Alex say her last dialogue. Timer is coming up now, by the way. Maybe we still have time. Time time's up now. So um, yeah, GG. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed um, watching this. Is it really <laughs> that time again? 
there might have been some things that I missed there and there. But overall, I think this has been good. And the run itself was really good. Uh, my game time is 51.58, says my live split, which is, uh, let me think, that's 8 minutes and 18 seconds lower than the world record. Yeah, 8 minutes and 18 seconds slower than world record. But, you know, this is still a pretty good time. I think that's like 4th place or something. So, sub 52 at a marathon. That is incredible. That is incredible. That is really good. Especially when you haven't played this game since May. <laughs> I literally just launched it today. So, yeah. But, yeah. Thank you all very much for for being here, and uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of the marathon and have a great day or night wherever you wherever in the world you are. <laughs> so yeah, thank you.